Yo guys, Jesse LaFlair here with LaFlair Parkour doing a tutorial on the precision. Um, so obviously, start with a smaller precision. This is just what's comfortable for me. So there's a few key things that certainly need to be discussed. Um, we're gonna talk about landing, your arm movement, your leg movement, and mentality, all right? So first, I'll show you precision, all right? The idea is to jump two feet from one spot and land on the other spot, all right? Very controlled, shouldn't feel like you're falling, and you should know your limit. And that's, that's what precisions are about for me, is, is learning how far I can precision and then advancing myself further. So I'll show you one. And that was precision, all right? First, let's talk about mentality. All right. The mentality of parkour for me is always this idea of achieving new goals. You know, starting at one place where you think you reached a limit, and then teaching yourself, "Oh my God, I can go past that. I can now precision nine feet. I can now precision ten feet." All right. Um, so start small and work yourself up. And obviously, you know, doing stuff over gaps, uh, big drops dangerous but the idea of doing that for video like you, you've seen some pretty retarded precisions in my videos like the one over the water um, like the one in the abandoned power plant okay now that was scary but the idea is not to fear it is to know in your gut and to know in your mind and in your body that you can actually make that gap you're not taking a risk because you've already practiced it over and over and over again. Okay, so let's get started. First, the jump. All right, knees bent. Feet right on the balls of your feet. If you're on the edge of an object, you're right on that edge, so you can use it to push off. Okay, so that's legs. I'm gonna go over arms in a minute. Watch my legs. All right guys, so the next thing I want to talk about is your arm movement. People always underestimate how much drive and force your arms actually give you. If I were to try to do a precision without arms, probably maybe six feet with arms, easy nine, okay? So the way I like to teach arm movement for precisions is pretend like you have a rope tied around your wrist and there's a few inches of rope and then a five pound or 10 pound weight on each hand. Depending on how you swing your arms, it's gonna completely throw you a different way. You don't wanna throw straight up on your swing back. You don't wanna swing hard back. Bring them back gradually and throw them up and out at about this angle, okay? It's gonna drive you up and out. So the idea is always to go up so you can come down on your precision. So watch my arms on this one. Okay, so you've seen the power of the arms, what the arms are capable of, all right? Use your arms, experiment, try different ways of throwing out, different angles of throwing up. You get to that top, lock it up, and then cushion down, all right? So, again, I kind of mentioned it really quickly before, I just want to say it again. Now, when you're leaving your precision, even if it's a smaller gap, you want that arc. If you're leaving here, you want it to go up and down, all right? You don't really want to come across like this because all your momentum is going to drive you this way, off of the object. You don't want to fall off the object. You should always picture it like there's a huge drop on the other side. Like in my instance, it is a decent drop. So now let's check out some landings, all right? First, let's start with how you're supposed to land. Don't want to land on your heel. Always land on the ball of your foot. Okay, guys? It's much better for your body. It, it absorbs, it doesn't jolt. Like if you land on your heel, it would go through your knees, through your back, Horrible for your spine, not the way to land. So let's check out some cool landings. So watch this. See the feet? My feet are actually on the edge of the object. Super important, it drives you out, okay? Watch my arms come up, 
and they stop right there. They don't keep going. They drive out and up, all right? Now the arc of my jump, check this out. Boom. I landing, I'm on the balls of my feet on the edge of the object. The reason I like to land my balls of my feet on the edge is if I go to slip out, my heel can catch. It's not the greatest thing, but it's a safety thing for me, okay? So guys, that's about it. I hope you've learned the precision. Let me know how it goes. Leave some comments. If you have any questions, I will answer them in the comments. I check daily. Definitely reply with some videos if you guys have learned some really good precisions or um, if you have any questions on your video, I'll get back to you on that as well. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. I'll play a parkour. Peace.